Hello, this is Tom at the Tractor Rescue Mat Ranch, and all of a sudden we have winter. It's been a long time coming to get a good storm in here. We got up this morning with five or six inches of snow on the ground, and it kind of took a break for snowing, but it's back to starting to snow again now. Um, I haven't done very much videoing. One reason is this darn Ford 3000. I am still waiting for parts. It's taken forever to get here. Actually, I've got everything I need. All of the bearings and seals and everything. I've got everything I need except for this darn shaft and we've been following the tracking on it and the last thing they said is they thought it would be the first part of january before it got here so i don't know what in the world the hang up is on it so i haven't done any more with it next week i'll go ahead and clean this up and get everything the sails and the bearings put in it and then if I still have to wait a while for the shaft, I'll be ready to go back together with it. Say hi, Mary. Hello. I'm dressed for warmth. Mary and I do chores together every morning and night. One of our rituals that we like to do together. But anyway, I've had to change things up in here a little bit in this corral. I had a big fence that went across here and over to there. And this in here was the corral for these little kids that we had this spring but anyway I have to I had to pull that down because I have to get the bobcat in here when the snow comes off the roof of the barn here it piles up so I have to get in here and keep the snow cleaned out but we so we've got all of the little ones running with the big ones now and that's working really good but I'm feeding the big goats grass hay and I've got some alfalfa that I'm liking to feed to the little goats. So we'll show you what we do here. They have got the sequence down here figured out. So what I've been doing is bringing some alfalfa in here for these little kids. I'm spreading it out for them. Because they, goats are terrible about fighting each other for the for the hay. They like, the big goats like to keep the little ones away from it. But there's a lot of waste going on in here. But what I've been doing, we just bring them in for a few minutes and let them eat this hay. And then, and then we turn them out. And what we're gonna do here, I'll just take and fork all of this hay up that they haven't trampled on and stuff that they've wasted and feed it to the cows. The cows really like it. But this is this is how we've got them trained here. Come on kids. Them little kids know what to do. All we got to do is open the gate and they come running. Then we'll give them a little bit of grain. But anyway, when they're when they're done, we just leave them here, let them eat for a while, and they let themselves out of this gate, so we don't have to come back to turn them loose. So from here, we'll go ahead and feed these big kids and the cows.
So this hay, I just bring it up a few bells at a time from the hay barn, so it generally stays under the hay barn. Just leave a few bells up here, and we're almost feeding to, or yeah, a bell every feeding, so two bells a day. Just a little bit shy of that. We're feeding all of the critters right now. Really going through the hay when you do two bells a day. Buttercup. Come on, Buttercup. Come on, out. So, anyway, I've got hay feeders built. Huh. These cool. goats don't like to share, so I pretty much have to have almost a hay feeder for every goat. You can see I've got this, this is just a loafing shed here where they, where the goats all live. And you can see I've got it split down the middle here. That's so that they don't get bullying and kick somebody out overnight. They pretty much sleep pretty good. They just don't like to share their hay. Then from here we'll go do their water. Kingston just lives for coming out and doing chores with us. So we got a frost-free tap out here and a trough heater, keep it from freezing up. No way this country gets so cold it would end up freezing solid, so we pretty much have to run the heaters. cows down there at the manger for some reason they end up in that every day they stand in that same configuration uh, double stuffed Oreo, Oreo the biggest ones in the middle and it's the white one in the middle it's kind of comical the way they line up that way every day putting the, the grain out and then let the little ones I'll let the little ones out to eat it <laughs> We feed these little ones a little bit of grain, trying to get their, keep their nutrients out. A bit more of it.
It don't take them long to eat the, eat the grain. This is my little favorite. These two black ones are smaller than the rest of them a little bit and they get pushed out for so I usually try to give them a handful. This this little weather right here has two buck. He's my favorite little buck for weather. So these goats will just eat some alfalfa for a little bit of little while and when we get tired of it they'll just let them let themselves through the gate and they'll be out with the big ones so now we just have Rudy and the midgets this is our buck Rudy he wasn't waddle fed like all of our other ones, but he's really easy to get along with. Really personable. And then here's his two little companions that we call them the midgets. They're just a couple of pygmy goats that belong to some friends of ours that had to couldn't keep them anymore, so we're just keeping them for him for a while. Just got a little feeder right there for them guys. Then from here we got the chickens to take care of. We ended up with some rolled oats some old rolled oats that food storage that was left here at this place and we've just been they've it's kind of gone rancid so we feed them a handful of these rolled oats every day to just get them away from the door in the summer we'll be free ranging them outside but this time of year we have to leave them in with all the weather and there's their laying box And there's the duck water, the feed bands, and the water bin right there. We keep fresh water in that. The ducks soil their water so quick. We try to keep fresh water in that deal there. And that's got to be heated as well so it doesn't freeze up on us. Free tap out here as well for the water. So we just water these goats here. Got a trough heater in that one as well. I'm going to have to figure out something better than this one because you have to turn them upside down to fill them.
We usually do water every other day. We can hold enough water here for the chickens and these goats to water them every other day. But the cows and the big goat herd, we have to do twice a day. When it gets real cold, we'll give up on this duck, these duck waters because they'll just be solid. At this time of year, we're able to keep some water for them to play in. get some feed for these guys. Grain feeding these chickens, we usually do that about every other day as well. Lasts a long time. In the summer, I was doing sprouting some barley for them, but it's too cold to get it to sprout now. So, anyway, there's our evening chores. I hope you enjoyed watching this and hopefully I'll be able to get back to mechanic in here pretty quick and get some more videos up. Thanks for watching.